Hi, my name is Robert Dean Steele, and today I want to tell you something that God wants you to know. But before we do that, let's have a word of prayer. Father in heaven, we thank you today for the wonderful things that we've been learning. The thing that we're learning today is that we have been forgiven. It's a wonderful place to be. And now we ask your blessing upon it in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, that's what I want you to know today, that you are forgiven. When you give your life to Jesus Christ, when you follow through with 1 John 1, 9, which says, if we confess our sins, he's faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. In that moment, you and I are forgiven. David put it this way in Psalm 103. He takes our sins as far as the east is from the west. That's an infinite line, which means he'll never bring it back. Secondly, Isaiah says that he takes our sins and throws it behind our back. Now, God does that because he wants us to know that we are forgiven. And in turn, what we need to do is forgive those who come and uh, offend us. You know, the greatest gift that we can give ourselves and other is forgiveness. You see, forgiveness frees us from the accusation and also as well the bitterness that can come through an offense. And what you need to do is you need to practice instantaneous forgiveness. You simply make a determination that no matter what anyone does to you, you will not do the same to them. You are going to forgive. You are going to release them from your right of revenge because that's what God did. God could have punished us, but in his grace, and in his mercy through Jesus Christ and through De Jesus' death, burial, and resurrection, we have been forgiven. And because we've been forgiven much, we need to also walk in forgiveness. It's a beautiful place to be, a freedom that comes when you know that you've been forgiven and also as well, you choose to walk in forgiveness. It's a little thought for you today. So if there is somebody you need to forgive, do that now. Father, we thank you today for the wonderful concept of forgiveness and to know that we've been forgiven through the blood of Jesus Christ. And now we ask your blessing upon this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I just want to remind you that if you like what you've been hearing, then, of course, I encourage you to press the like button and also subscribe to my YouTube channel.